bless you bless you bless you in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth the lord be with you in the name of jesus christ uh my name is apostle peter daniel from nigeria apostle peter daniel apostle peter daniel from nigeria you are watching me in heaven and air live program heaven and air live program the one we used to do by 9 a.m to 10 30 a.m every day from monday to friday by the grace of god uh, today we want to talk about the the plans of the darkness the plans of the darkness uh in the world now in the world now in the world now uh please before we pray we, we talk about that let's pray please father in the mighty name of jesus father in the name of jesus father in the mighty name of jesus everlasting father the king of glory the lord of lord the ancient of the the almighty mighty god we bless your name because you are our father be that glorified be that exalted in the mighty name of jesus our lord and our god i pray that as we are hearing the word right now that you will send the power of your word the power of your word you will reveal yourself to us you will open our eyes you will open our eyes you will open our eyes you will open our eyes, you will open our eyes to see the truth of the world to see the truth of the world the bible says we shall know the truth and the truth shall set us free oh lord we pray Oh God, that you help us, oh Lord, to understand the things of the mystery of the mystery of the kingdom and what is going on in this world. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As I was saying that time, that by the grace of God, we are going to talk about that. Uh, the, the plans of the darkness in the time we had now my beloved brothers and sisters i have to tell you the truth that the world has been cancelled when the bible was saying the prince of the world is coming jesus christ was saying he said the prince of the world is coming he said but he findeth nothing in me he was saying that but the truth of the fact is that the priest of the world has taken away this world. He has been captured. He has been completely captured. This world has been completely captured by the devil. So as a child of God, number one thing I want you to take note is that you are not of this world. You are not supposed to be behaving like this world. You are not supposed to be moving when the world is moving. If the world is moving by the right, you move by the left. If the world is moving by the left, you move by the right. You are not supposed to be walking as the world is walking. Because this world has been captured. It has been captured by the devil. By the devil, he has been captured by the devil. So, what are we going to do? Number one thing is to prepare. One of the things that the devil is doing now, right now, the devil has organized his plan, he has finished his plans, he has perfected his plan. Everything is perfected, everything is perfected. All one thing is just they are just waiting for now is to carry on, carry on order. You are not as you are now, you are not saved because number one, anytime, any day, war can start. I just finished telling you about the revelation I have concerning war that is coming. War, serious war that is coming. Another one that I also see. I saw demon moving around in this world, moving. The truth of the fact is that the demon that is operating in this world is more than the human being in the world. So what are we saying? The demon operating in the world is more than the demons in, inside this world. World. 
So what are we saying? So we have to prepare. We have to prepare. We have to prepare. Because we are in the end already. We are in the ends already. Whereby, at any time, any, you can just see a demon coming and begin to kill people. Just coming physically and begin to... Anything can happen. We are in the hands. So you as a child of God, you have to prepare. About some times ago, I told you about how the devil has been sending demons. To begin to, 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 to you know, you will, to begin to, 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 uh, to injure the Christians in the spirit. So that they can begin to backslide. The television you are looking at, the devil have canceled it. I, don't, I, cannot, I cannot even remember the day I've opened my television like this. The devil has captured it. Christian song that you're supposed to hear, the devil has captured it. You'll be yet seeing them using worldly, worldly beat. Even the film, if care is not taken, even the Christian films, by the time you bring it to see it now, the devil is taking over it. The jobs are being taken by the devil. The government, those who are in the government now, is the devil putting them in the place. Is the devil putting them into position? He has been taken off. Pope Francis. Pope Francis is a devil mechanic. Everything he's doing now is Antichrist. To usher in the Antichrist. Already the one world government has been established. It's just to carry out the assignment that is remaining. The one world government, it has already been established. Just carrying out the assignment, that is what is remaining now. What are we now saying? The world is gone. You are a child of God. It is time you, you buckle your bed. They begin to introduce family planning. Are you even aware so that people can stop giving back? So that the people can they want to depopulate the whole world. Are you even aware that anybody that uses family planning is going to hell? Are you even aware that anybody that uses family planning in any means they are going to hell? In any means. Everything about it, definitely. Everything. This world has been captured. This is the time you're supposed to be preparing for heaven, not for your door. I'm so surprised that people are no more preparing. Do you know what God told me about recently? Recently, do you know what God told me? He told me that I told you to warn the world concerning the war that is coming now. He said, anybody that disobey the order to go and flee and the war caught them and killed them, they are not going to make heaven. For they shall be tied with the charge of the sin of disobedience. Go and hide into a prayer, prayer camp. You are saying your job. He said, they are not going to make it to heaven. So it means if you say, I mean, I know they go. On the, po on the point of you doubting, not on the point of you want to sacrifice yourself as a martyr, but on the point of you doubting or of you loving your work than God, of or you not preparing enough, if you died on that post point, you will be tied with the charge of disobedience. God said he want to gather, I want to guide his people. Just as the way he has protected Noah. He told Noah to gather his family. And those who believed, but it was unfortunate that nobody believed him. He was shouting that there's going to be something that is going to happen. 
It was so painful. Nobody believed him. Nobody. And he didn't believe him. Because they believe that it will never happen. War cannot destroy, water cannot destroy the world. Just as the same thing that God is saying that his people should go, that his people should go and hide and stay. I call it a prayer camp. And go and stay under the umbrella of God. But people are taking of their children, taking of their wife, taking of their husband, taking of their job, taking of the house they build, taking of the house and the car they have. Why some people are sacrificing their job and saying, I'm going to the, to the, to the camp. Some people will say, I tell them, I'm not working again. I want to go and serve God. God wanted his children to go back and come and serve him. And also to protect them. Did God send you to this to come and work? No. He only sent you to come and serve him. But so that you can survive, you are asked to work. So that you can lead, you are asked to work. Now God is calling you back. The truth is that this world is gone. Even the clothes you wear, you went to go and buy. If you look at it very well, you will see the sign of the devil there. Even the shoes you are buying, you are wearing. If you look very well, you see the sign. Everything is gone. Already they are planning to change the currency. So that you will not be using physical currency again. You will be using digital, uh, yeah, what are they calling it? This uh, Bitcoin of, of, of a thing. And the sign on that Bitcoin is a sign of the Antichrist. Everything about them. And by the time they say they want to be using it. Now, what they want to do is that they will not come after they have changed the currency. And you are unable to spend money. They will not begin to introduce ship. So that, because, so that when you do hold your phone, you just get to the supermarket, you put your hand there like this, because there's ship there. You put your hand there like this. This thing will scan your, the ship in your hand. By the time it scan the ship in your hand, it will detect and will remove the money that you're supposed to pay for. It will remove it. You detect it. Pa. It's not a news anymore. It is what is already happening already. The machine has already been produced. They have produced the thousands of the margins. So you will not be able to use currency anymore. Physical paper. No, 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 no. You will just go there. Wherever the ship is in your body, you place it there. Then it will scan and remove what you buy. You will not be carrying out currency anymore. They say because of protection. This is because of the thief. This is because I said that they are thief. They just bring what things just to destroy the world. How are we going to escape? That's the truth. You are not of this world again. Go, leave the place. The world has been cancelled already. Will you go and tell me, uh, what is his name? This man, Bidi, and uh, Pope Francis, and tell him that. Uh, you can you cannot do that one. Yeah? Even when Adeboye himself, Pastor E. A. Adeboye, has went to sign with them. Sir, it's not the matter of we hear, it's what we know we see. The evidence is there. Go to YouTube and go and go and search it. Adeboye, Pastor E. Adeboye of Redeem, Christian Church of God. In Nigeria, the one they call as their father in the law, he went with them. I go and sign with them. One word religion, one word order. Most powerful, powerful pastors of the world they gathered and they signed together. 
Pastor, he had it, but he said that is why he was born. He, he was saying it. He said that is the purpose why he was born. Then where are we going to? Tell me, where are we going to? Tell me, where are we going to? Where are we going to? Those who will be supposed to be saying that, ah, okay, this one is a, is a general of God. They are the one that is outside in the Antichrist. Then what are we going to say? What do you want to do? <laughs> the Muslim leaders, my Christian leaders, but, uh, Buddhist leaders, all the all the idol idolic leaders, gods, all those people who are worshiping the something, their leaders, they come to together. Everything by Pope Francis about it, what is his name they call? And they they, they, they they sign it. They sign it. Then what are you telling me? Are you of the world? When they, your leader says they don't even sign it, what do you want? To do? <laughs> it's a pity. It's a pity that even the Christian leader, they are the ones signing him, the Antichrist. One word order. Do you even know the meaning of one word order? One word order is uh, the coming together of Christian, Muslim, and those who are worshipping idol. They will be coming together and be worshipping in one church. Are you there? And they'll be worshiping in one touch. <laughs> That's the meaning of one word order. They will build one temple. And there will be a leader. And that leader will be an antichrist. If you say you have one touch anywhere and the government caught you, you will go into prison for that. All touch will be closed. In fact, all Muslims will be closed. Their uh, mosques will be closed. All churches will be closed. You will be going and be worshipping in one that church. They say they want us to create peace. They say they want to create peace between the Christian and the Muslim. And those who are worshipping idols. So that they can become one. Even those who are going to are uh, going to the church of the devil. They will come together. <laughs> hey, they will be serving one God. If you say you are not going to church, you are in trouble. Then authority will be coming from that church. It is compulsory. If they add you priests and your church is not one word, that... <laughs> You are in trouble. The Bible says a time is coming whereby the true word of God will be, they will be searching around. Even the social, social media now, people are abusing me. They say, how can you be coming against our leader? And I laugh. A time is coming, a world like this will be scarce. A world like this will be scarce in this, even with social media. Because nobody dare do it. If you do it, they will stress you and come. In fact, you will not be able to use social media self without you having that sheep. Because you are going to press your code to access internet. The, the code you have. Even if you want to buy a card to call, you are going to press the code of your, your, your sheep. The code of your ship, that's what I'm going to press for you to buy a card. So you will not be able to use call phone. You will not be able to use internet. You will not be able to use all these things. All these things, you will not be able to use them until you have that ship, which is the mark of the species. That ships, you have it. Not only that, if you don't have your sheep, they will not collect currency from your hand. So know where to eat. That time is coming. 
just as the day it is in the time of Noah, when God was telling Noah to start it, come into the boat now, come into the boat now, come into the boat now, and they were wasting time. And when the time is about to come, the Bible said that he asked Noah and his family to enter, and God himself shut the door from the outside. So shall it be. A time is coming. You will say, sir, where is the camp, prayer camp? I'm coming now. I will reply and tell you that the Lord said we should not accept anybody more again. The door has been closed. There was a time, sir, that I was about to close the door. God now said that it is still time. It is not a time to close it. That people can still come now. You better be careful. He said, well, I, I will say in my house, it's in your house. The sooner we start dragging you out and be beating you to collect the Antichrist. The mark. It's in your house. Those who are expecting that uh, rapture that will first take place, then uh, tribulation time comes. Let them keep on waiting. What is going on in the world now does not supposed to tell them that Christian will face it. The Bible says, for the elect sake, it shall shorten the days. Matthew chapter 24. He said, for the elect sake. He said, if not for the elect sake, if you did not shorten, he said, even the elect will be deceived. He said, nobody will be able to collect it. We will be able to, to stand on their own. But the lesson we should, it means you are going to pass through it. I don't know where they bring this kind of religious uh, uh this is not in that uh, rapture first, the tribulation circle. I don't know where it is. I told them, quote it for me, let me know the place. Many streets have, have I told them about where God is saying that we Christian was passed through it. You are not of the world. I pray God will help us. He will save us. He will deliver us. What is going to happen in this year ending stroke next year? I don't know what is going to happen. How can we going to be? But I know that with the grace of God, the Lord will help us. He has gone through the hospital. Now, this vaccine of a thing that you think that is died up to your to your own eyes, the jab of a thing that you think that is dying down in your own eyes. Let's see what is going to happen. A order is coming that will compose everybody to go and collect it. To the extent that they will be coming into your house and drag you out to collect it. Let's see. I pray God Almighty we help us. Save yourself now so that you do not start crying for him. I pray God we help you. This is what I want to tell you today. That the devil has captured the world. We are in the world, but we are not of the world. In the Lord God Almighty, help us and save us in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Please do not just go. Subscribe to the channel and press the notification button in the name of Jesus Christ. And if there is any other way too that God has taught you to support us so that this gospel can go round we want to announce it in radios. Announce it everywhere. Let people be aware that Jesus coming is very soon. And there is a problem ahead. There's any way you can support us, try to contact us. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Bye.